Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? It's your girl, Tamara, Miss T from Cincinnati. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm going to do a quick video about confidentiality in the workplace and how much so is not so confident. And I have seen a lot where it's just like totally disturbing in the workplace. You know how you um, go and just talk to someone about, hey, you know, about I need some time off from work. Uh, I have to have this done or I'm having like situations at home, um, problem, you know, like family issues or problems or whatever the case may be. But it's kind of like disturbing how, you know, how your personal affairs or whatever, it don't matter what the, what the case may be how it just spreads out in the workplace, how people just talk, how people just spread it. And then when it, it just goes around, you know how things, the stories just get so twisted up and it's not the original truth of what was said in the first place. And that's the disturbing part about that when it comes down or boils down to how so much of your comfort confident your confidentiality in the workplace is not so confident at all now this is a new one right here now you got employers out here it's like how many years have you been at your job where you work it don't matter what your career job is what employer now prints out on the paper a get to know you paper and then you have papers like this of asking medical history who does that what employer out here does that now uh, you know what I kind of noticed too since the pandemic I've been seeing a whole lot of real fuckery shit that's been going on that's been happening now I really have and it's very very disturbing I'll get to know you paper all the years I have worked doing janitorial service I have once you know did janitorial work work as a nurse say Never a day in my life have I ever worked in a restaurant. I don't worked in a bakery. I don't worked in a, in a factory, you know, doing packing. Not ever, one time ever, have I ever had anyone print out a paper, a get to know you paper. Who does that? So now that's a new way of getting to know someone. So when an employer does that, it's like, what are you actually going to do with that paper to get to know me paper? What's wrong with just like sitting down and talk with a person? Like, hey, what is your name? You know, how long you been, you know, working, you know, such such place, you know. And then you want to know about my family. What you want to know about my family for? It's not none of your business. What you want to need to know my uh, favorite color is, what food I like why you need to know this this sound like something that teachers will uh, make out for school students okay Billy Bob Mary Mary Lou Betty Jo now I got this paper here I'm gonna pass out here and y'all just write down just tell me a little description about yourself and uh, what color that you like your favorite food okay and tell me a little bit about your family how many sisters and brothers do you have mm, where, where, where is you your mother and your dad is from you know I like to know these things and it's like really for real seriously who does that in the workplace what employer out here does that and why would you need to know these things Will you be more concerned about having a good employee work for you versus then like want to dig into their uh, personal business, personal life? What, what, what's the point in that? It's like, what are you grasping for? I mean, what are you fishing for? You know, it's like, are you trying to weed out something like, well, I don't think 
uh, I don't maybe uh, well, I don't like what this person put down here maybe we'll try to find a way to get rid of this person well maybe we could keep this person well what, what it's like it's like you go fishing for something it's like really I don't get that it's like it's it's strange and it's odd and it's weird for an employer to want to sit there and do type of things like that and then another one too it's like you want to ask like medical questions this here I will turn it around I will turn it around so you can actually see this it's like why would you this is like something like uh, you you will go to a doctor office for and they ask me like questionnaires and stuff um, you have heart trouble high blood pressure seizures I'm just I'm just uh, naming off a few here um, lung cancer broken ribs um, your name your height and all your weight and all this what what employer does this out here now why I look at that paper that look like HIPAA to me that's in the, that's a that's that's way in uh you, you invade my personal health my life that's that's like a, a HIPAA violation don't you think why would I want to share this uh, something like this with, with an employer. What, what are you planning on doing with the paper? Like really, when the employer does that, what, what are you planning on doing with it? Why would you want to know these things? When the employer would be worrying about what type of uh, good employees that they have working for them and making sure they do a good job and making sure they are um, up to standards of the company policy and stuff like that. Wouldn't you be worrying, concerned about that? Then they're worrying about what's going on, Betty Lou, Susie May, Michael Joe, Tyrone. I don't get it. Because I feel as though in my heart, why would you want something like that? Because I feel somewhere in there. That's a breach of confidentiality right there. Because I don't know what would you do with something like that. How will I know? Oh, y'all talk about this. Y'all talk, and it's going out through the nurse home. And it's like, wow. Well, how did this person know this? How did this person know this about me? How did this person know about uh, what I check off on a paper? And it's like, wow, this person know this and this person know that. And I never even told the person anything about, you know, wait a minute. Now I get it. It's this, um, this, um, this, this paper that this, uh, this person had just made out. And they uh, do questionnaires. Who does questionnaires at work? If all the years I have worked, I ain't never in my life had experienced anything like that. You, and you know what? And the worst case scenario is I had to go and ask around questions. I, I literally had to get advice. Who does that? Who does that? Oh, and the advice that I heard and the, and the advice that, that was given to me. Wow. That, that's, that's like something I need to really look into because that's uh, that's awful and that's, and, and that's weird it, it's, it truly is so it's like confidentiality in a workplace literally has gone just gone out the window it really has it's like no matter what you tell someone you could talk to someone privately and before you know it what you tell that person is that person trustworthy you can't even trust nobody in the workplace, period. I don't give a damn how cool you are with a person. You cannot trust nobody in the workplace because confidentiality is not confident with no one. No one in the workplace do not know how to shut their freaking ass mouth up, period. That just like if somebody was not at work and somebody said, hey, I haven't seen such and such for a long time. Uh, do you know how such and such doing? Oh, I heard that such and such was uh, going for surgery. Such and such was in the hospital. Uh, such and such had a, a deaf in the family. Do you know? No, I don't know. Don't come and ask me because one, I don't get into people personalized business. I care less one way or the other or why that person's not there at work. If that person did not come and talk to me 
personally why should I try to seek and find out why that person's not there at work because one it's not none of my business why should it be your business why should you want to talk about it in the workplace from the get-go from the, in the first place anyway why would you want to do that so you could just have something to talk about so you could have something to spread around and then when that person come back oh such and such oh welcome back this welcome back that oh I heard this and I heard that and I heard it was like whoa whoa it was one time I um just uh what was that just last year last year um I had a problem with my knee and I had I like been down on my knee on the ground and evidently some had uh, like little cuts or whatever you know cut my skin a little bit and so I ain't thinking nothing of it after a while I was trying to problem my knee and then as and it got to the point where I could barely go walk I don't go on to work like this I barely go walk to the point where at one point make the long story short I ended up having to go to the hospital you talking about my right knee was like shh. I was on crutches kind of find out I had a real bad infection in my knee a real bad infection I thought my leg was gonna fall off that's how bad it was because I, I kneeled down on the ground kneeled down on the ground and uh, it was something that I was doing and I probably had a laceration from whatever was on the ground had to like you know cut my skin a little bit or whatever and so some just this, this the penetrate went through my skin so all was well all was taken care of but when I took off and I come back I had someone like I heard that you had to go to the hospital how's your knee doing How would you know this? And I never even discussed it with you. I never even told you. I never even told nobody. But it was one person that literally told somebody else my business. See, that's that's what goes to show how people talk too damn much in the workplace. Just talk too damn much, period. People just don't know when or how to shut up. They really don't. And that's 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 what makes me totally kind of like dislike some people, you know. Period. I mean, just totally dislike people. Period. And it and, and people just be wondering why why you so quiet. You know, you keep to yourself. Workplace should be all about work. You come to work. People could talk. They could talk about their personal business. Blah blah blah. They're gonna tell this. They're gonna tell that. But when it comes to another part, when it comes about another person, don't go around and be spreading stuff about you know spreading people business. You know, you 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 just don't do that. You you just don't. I mean, that just so um, that just so unprofessional. It's like what's the point of need to go around and spread gossip like that for you know it's like wow so I'm about to end this video it sickens me when people go around their workplace and they sit up here and they just tell all your personal business they just tell you all your personal business it's always good to go to work, do what, you, do what you're supposed to do. It's okay, you know the conversation now. But when it comes to like other people's business and your business is now, never spread it. It's supposed to be confidential. What's the point of going around here, spreading something that's not, not for you to talk about and not, and not for you to spread? And what right, God-given right, do an employer has or anybody has to do a, a questionnaire a questionnaire so it makes you wonder like what the hell do you plan on do with them do with that type of paper it's like really I don't get that that's that's kind of like bizarre right there and that's some fuckery ass shit like really for real but um 
that's a that's a trust issue right there too. So that's me. That person when 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 somebody does something like that, um, that person is on some um, some slick foul shit. Like really, some snake fast shit. And so it's like you cannot be trusted. And it's like you you gotta um, you gotta watch out for that person because ain't no telling what that person could be up to when people do some shit like that on the workplace. You just not a trusted ass person. In a way, you just not trusted. I consider that some narcissistic ass shit, like for real. And it's like, um, in a way, it's like um, you being nosy for one. It's like you snooping your nose in something that you should not be snooping your nose into. You know, I don't get, I don't get most people. I really don't. Some people just not with it in their in mind, but they seem normal, but they're not normal. Some people, you, you could seem uh, smart and educated, but you're not that well put together, educated wise, when you do something like that, okay? So, this confidentiality at the workplace, y'all done took it far and beyond, confident, as far as things being confident. Y'all, a lot of you in the workplace, don't matter what your job career is, y'all just don't know how to shut the fuck up, period. And stay out of people's business and mind your own damn business for once in your uh, sorry ass life. And that's what you need to do. So I'm about to get on off of here. It's like 10.02 p.m. God bless. Treat people with kindness. Treat people according to how the way you want to be treated. But don't be digging into personal, personalized business and going around in the workplace spreading something that you should not be spreading. Peace. I'm out. God bless.